And now, back to the Casey and the Roundman Show on 107.9 The Coyote. Ladies and gentlemen, to the Casey the Round Man Show. It is 7.42 and about 75 degrees outside. Good morning. Oh, it's time. It's time once again, ladies and gentlemen, for that time you look forward to every Friday. Can you get him out on the line? Well, I'm hoping so. I told him to call right after the crossover. There he is. 107.9 The Coyote, good morning. Yes, Angry Mark. Hey, Angry, Angry Mark. Mark. How are you, buddy? I'm pretty good. How's everybody there this morning? We're doing well. We're doing uh, wait well. Wait a minute. Let me, let me check. Jimmy? Uh, Don't yeah, touch him. Feeling good. I, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, Rev, I'm doing great. I'm missing his eight donuts. Yeah, eight donuts. What a it, was only, it was like a retarded uh, baker's dozen. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it happens every Friday. It is Angry Mark recites poetry. Well, what I've done is I've prosed a handsome sonnet for Uncle Marvin, and I call it an ode to Uncle Marvin. Oh, wonderful. Marvin's not his real name. They say he came from Arkansas. Witness protection is the rumor. He likes his burgers with molasses. Marvin gets wiggy with it, loves long walks in the thicket. He had a legal problem. He ignored click it or ticket. <laughs> <laughs> He's not my Uncle Marvin. He never saw my mall. Lived down the gravel road, which makes him my half adopted step neighbor in law. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin likes it at the trailer court. He ain't good at making friends. He dives into the kiddie pool, then surfaces with the bends. <laughs> Please, you might ask me who he is. His ID cannot be known. He is not Angry Mark, Mother Goose, or Debbie. He's a beast all his own. I ask you not be malicious. Marv's head is not so lev. He never lost his puppy. So let him be, Mrs. Rev. <laughs> <laughs> he is invisible to most. He might be on a Honda or in a Ford Lincoln Mercury while running from the Chupacabra. <laughs> oh, that's heavy. That's heavy, heavy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Angry Mark recites poetry. <laughs> I sure appreciate the opportunity to uh, lay out a lovely soliloquy. <laughs> Give our best to Uncle Marvin. Yes, please do. I, I sent him to the store because you can't get him away from the phone when I'm on. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> have a great day, dude. You guys have a good one. See ya. <laughs> 745, it's the Case of the Round Man Show. We'll be right back.